Hello, welcome to another series in my videos on connecting the desktop with the cloud. Last time we looked at the Room Edit 3D socket test to demonstrate a real time socket IO connection from the View and Data API viewer to a desktop C .NET client. This time we look at the real live thing the Room Edit 3D app, a Revit add-in which um, updates the BIM in real time when you make a change in the View and Data API viewer. So I'll start this up in the debugger. I'll simply hit F5 that launches Revit 2017 and loads my add-in. I'll open up this Room Edit 3D sample file. It's a rather strange and trivial construction, but good enough for testing purposes. You can see here we have a couple of rooms with furniture and other Revit elements. I'll make that full screen and make my window a bit smaller so that we can look at the viewer and the Revit model at the same time. Um, I have my room editor viewer running in Heroku. I'll reload this model from scratch so that the two uh, representations are in the same state. So you can see here the same situation. Let's also show the Visual Studio debug console at the bottom of the windows so that we can see the messages that are uh, displayed by the .NET client. So um, in Revit I have a command to actually start subscribing to events from the room editor. Now it's subscribed and it's also immediately connected to my application running in the viewer because this whole uh, this application is displayed on Heroku up and the, the web server is up and running already. I have not yet launched the extension that enables me to pick, select and translate the elements in the viewer. So I'll do that by starting Room Edit 3D. And once I do that, I can click an element and say, move this. And you'll see that this has been picked up as a task in Revit. And it's attempted to translate this wall. That causes an error message. It says we can't keep an element joined. I have to cancel that. So the wall actually jumps back again to its original location. But that shows the principle. A more useful case here would be to select this uh, table. In the viewer it's just an individual table. You can see the chairs are remaining where in their original location. I, when I switch to the Revit screen, oops, you can see that Revit keeps this chair and the elements joined because they are actually grouped. In the viewer let's look at an ungrouped element. We can switch this to a top view and move it over there and click on this desk and move it across there and nothing happens immediately but when I cross across with the cursor to the Windows application the desk jumps to its new location. So that's pretty exciting, isn't it? I covered all the details of setting up this connection and implementing the viewer extension in a post recently. So you can take a look at that to see how all of this is programmed. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to hearing what you can do with this. Have fun. Bye bye.